In today's video, I am going to show you a complete image SEO solution for your WordPress website. After watching this video, you can literally forget about doing image SEO manually ever again. When it comes to image SEO, two things matter the most. Image compression and image tags like alt text, caption, titles, etc. And in this tutorial, we are going to handle it both effortlessly. During this video, you will see how I reduced my website's 1 megabyte image to 200 kilobyte. Also, the secret method of auto image alt tag caption title method. We'll walk through a powerful plugin that delivers premium level image optimization totally free. It compresses your images, serves magazine formats like WebP and ABIF, and boosts your site's loading speed without sacrificing quality. On top of that, I will also show you how to automatically generate image alt tags, titles, captions, descriptions, and more, saving your hours of manual work while improving SEO and accessibility. This is an all-in-one setup that's perfect for beginners and pros alike. So let's jump and start optimizing. So in this video, we will optimize this website. You see, this website is full of high quality images. After optimizing all these images, still you will see no blurry or broken image here. Before optimizing our website images, let's check the web page size and the total image size. Just check our website's image size. Just copy your domain and go to GT Metrics and paste your URL and then click on Analyze. It may take about 10 to 15 seconds. Just keep patience. Just scroll down and here you will see our total website is about 1.42 megabyte and it is the image section is covers about 0.98 megabyte which is about 69.3 percent of total pages i just want to reduce the size so let's go to the website and let's install the plugin go to dashboard then add a new plugin search compress x Here is it. This plugin has been used more than 10,000 websites. Also, it have huge number of 5 star rating, extremely well. Just install now and activate it. Then go to the settings of this plugin or you can go to settings from here. So this is the settings page of this plugin. It looks very simple and user friendly. They also gave explanations of each points. Let's jump to setup. Enable to convert the size of uploaded image. First thing, turn this on. Without this, nothing will work. It's like the power button of the whole plugin. Once it's on, Compress X will start compressing any image you upload. Alright, now let's talk about this option right here. Library to process images. Now here, you need to choose between GD or Imagic, but only one can be active. Just remember this, GD is lighter and faster. Great for most websites. So I recommend this for beginners. Imagic is more advanced and gives slightly better image quality, but it's heavy and can be slower on small hosting plans. So unless you are running a photography or high resolution portfolio site, just stick with GD. WebP and AVIF formats. WebP and AVIF are next gen image generation format. They are much smaller than normal JPG or PNG, but still looks sharp. Turn on WebP. It works on almost all browsers. Also turn on AVIF. Works on modern browsers, even smaller file size. Enable both because when you use rewrite rules, the perfect version of the image will be automatically served. We will explain about that point after a few seconds. Choose compression level. This is where you decide how much you want to shrink your image file size. 
You see, there are six levels of image compression here. If your website is picture oriented, then choose among these two. If this is a blog website or business website, then choose one of them. I'm choosing Lossy. Here, you will see two options, rewrite rules and picture tag, but you can only pick one. I recommend going with rewrite rules. It's faster, cleaner, and doesn't mess with your site's HTML or theme code. The best part, it's smart. If your visitor's browser support AVIF, that's what they will get. If not, it will automatically fall back to WebP. And if neither is supported, the original image will load. It all happens automatically. You don't have to do anything. Only choose picture tag if your server doesn't support HTXS or React method doesn't work properly. But the most WordPress users, especially on Apache or Lightspeed, Rewrite Tools is the best choice. Do not convert PNG. This part is for people who want to keep PNG images untouched. Usually, PNGs are used for transparent images like logos. But I recommend don't check this box. Let the plugin convert PNG too. Remove exif data. Exif data is just extra info inside images like your camera name, location, and so on. For websites, you don't need that. Turn this on. Save more space and protects your privacy. But this option is unavailable for GD conversion method. As we are using GD, we should skip that. If your server meets Imagic, you can enable that. Then parameters of processing images. By default, I prefer using five images process per IX request. So that your web hosting or web server doesn't feel any pressure. Next, automatically removal of files output formats larger than original i must enable it i also recommend you to enable it because suppose an image is about 10 kilobyte and then it converts into webp or abi format using compress x plugin if this uh, image uh, conversion become a 15 kilobyte or 12 kilobyte uh, which is more than uh, the original size then automatically the webp or abi will be uh, deleted and the original image will be replaced so uh, I prefer to enable it. Enable auto resizing for larger images. This one is super helpful if people upload big images like 4000 pixel wide. Turn it on. Set a max height and weight like uh, 2560 by default because smaller images equals to faster loading plus better for mobile plus safe spaces. Unless you are running a photography site, there is no need to keep giant images. You can skip this unless you know what cache control and headers are. If you face image loading issue after enabling WebP and AVIF, then turn it on. Thumbnail sizes to process. WordPress automatically creates different version of each images. Here, choose which size you want Compress X to optimize. Keep thumbnail medium, large checked. These are enough for most people. This time I remain this untouched. Exclude folders. If you don't want certain folders to be touched, maybe backup or plugin files, then add them here. For example, if you have a backup plugin that stores images in its own folders, don't compress those. Currently, I don't have that type of folder. But currently, I don't have any type of folders. That's why I'm skipping. And here's custom folders. Also skip it, uh, this is not a necessary thing. Also, they have a very good option, which is delete compressed images. Uh, this is emergency reset. This button is like an emergency reset. If you want to delete all compressed versions and go back to originals, type delete and press go. Use carefully, it will delete all the optimized images and original images will be replaced. So, click on save changes. Now, let's start bulk processing. Click start bulk processing. You will see progress bars for how many are compressed to WebP and ABIF. Let it run. This will save tons of space and speed up your site.
image optimization is done. Our website images are looking fine. I can't feel that the images are much lower quality. So let's check our uh, total image size of our website. Previously it was uh, 0.98 megabyte. So let's retest. See, previously it was 0 0.98 megabyte and now it is almost 200 kilobyte, which is 30% of our total page size. So our picture compressions are very well done. So whatever, let's go to our media. Just look at this this portrait the original was one megabyte and the webp version which is only 45 kilobyte and ebif is also only 22 kilobyte you can see the compression ratio here percentage and if i upload a new image let's see what happens We just uploaded this picture, which is 972 kilobyte. It is now only 51 kilobyte. And the picture quality is quite good. Also, you see, uh, when I upload a picture, it automatically uh, creates alternative text and caption. You know why this happens? because i have a plugin installed autobute these are the by default settings i think it's enough for uh, most of us if you install this plugin automatically your image seo will be done so let's visit our website and we will check one thing go to inspect element and refresh the page let's go to network and select the image so let's scroll down the website and just notice this part these are showing abif so our image is compressed to abif this is serving actually so this is why our website is loading so much fast and the page size also reduced to only uh, 644 kilobyte and image size is about 200 kilobyte. So this is the basic things of this plugin. So another setting is CDN integration. In this website, Cloudflare is not integrated. We have a video on how to connect your website with Cloudflare in your WordPress website. Also, you can find tutorials in YouTube on how to get Cloudflare global API key and zone ID. If you want us to create a video on it, please comment below. So this is a video on how to optimize your website images for image SEO and convert to next gen format for free. Compress X may create a revolution on image compression era of WordPress. So don't miss this. And if you have any question for this plugin, then feel free to let me know in the comment section. Please subscribe and like this video.